Hey y'all, it's your girl Shelly Mae and welcome back to my channel for all of my returning subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to anyone that is new here. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you know every time I post, okay? Because <laughs> you never know with me. We're just going to leave it at that. But y'all should know where I am now. We've been here maybe one or two times by now. Welcome to my bathroom and since we're in my bathroom, you should know this is a hair video. If you're not, if you don't know, here, here we go. And you probably don't know that's a hair video because I don't look a hot, crazy, flaming mess. So, as previously stated, I know I know I was supposed to update y'all once a week on this Brazilian blowout, but my weeks, my weekends, they've been so crazy since my birthday. I've just been running around like a crazy chicken and I finally have some time to you know sit down and do this so it's actually like 7 30 ish at night so you know let's get it popping okay it feels much later than it actually isn't so weird but today is a wash day um this is my third week of having this treatment and when i tell you roots not sweat it out i mean roots not sweat it out okay um the another thing about this is um frizz it don't frighten, no frizz, no frizz, okay? After getting the first treatment, you know, they, I don't believe they use any products that like were frizz fighting products or help to mitigate that. But baby, first two weeks, we were good. <laughs> this third week, okay, however, this hair was tired. It's, it was so ready for me to wash it, but I didn't wash it because I went on a spontaneous trip to surprise my parents, so, I didn't have time and I well I did have time but I wanted to film this for you guys so I stuck it out another week I tried to do some things where I wouldn't have to wear it down I tried to do a, a hot roller set where I curled my hair and then um pinned it up or put curls in it to help it set mm -mm, curls fail my hair does not hold a curl so we're trying to figure that out too and then I did a wet set or a damp set with um setting mousse or foaming mousse or whatever started out good but that day the humidity was crazy the moisture in the air was ridiculous frizzed up fall fell it was to the naked eye for those who don't know me and how I like my hair they were like oh my god your hair looks so good I'm like, thank you even though I'm looking in the mirror I'm like what is this this looks terrible so you know I uh, this braid over here that I had in my head was from like trying to style that and get me to like it but um what I do yesterday I added a braid on this side so that I could um put my hair in this bun and look decent for the fair, which I didn't make it to because shots fired, unfortunately. Um so yeah, now we're gonna wash it, take this out. I'm gonna let y'all see what we're what we're looking like here real quick. Oh, and before I start to look completely crazy, let me get into the products that I'm going to use. Um I have used these before. I'm using the Bioterra anti frizz. I had to get some more of this because I'm all out. Uh, their conditioner and I mean their shampoo and then their conditioner. I still have their leave-in conditioner. As you can see, they've updated their look. Still cute. Um, I'm also going to use the Dream Coat. Try to help mitigate anything, any frizz. We are going to also use this one, the Mizani Shine Extend Anti-Humidity Spritz. You've seen me use this product before. And then for our styling oil, um, I, I think I'm going to go with either the Jehovah Oil or my Design Essentials. Uh, I did try to use this. Um, earlier in the style and it just really didn't hit for me so I might actually just use a combination of both a, tr a small combination because I don't want my hair to be weighed down and super oily so I'm going to go hop in the shower wash this well let me let y'all see it first and then I'm gonna try to I can't even get this out I have too many hair ties in my hair when I say I'm so rough, I just don't have patience. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, 
hair ties lost or did it come out? There it is. There we go. And then take these two braids out. So it doesn't look too bad. Like, mm, just needs a little washing. Oh, look at that little braid out. Not really though. So comparatively to like my natural hair and a relaxer, this makes your hair continue to look like it's in its natural state when it comes to you know it being straightened. You still have the body that you would have if uh, you didn't have this treatment on. So unlike a relaxer that just leaves your hair completely flat. This doesn't do that. So here, here we are. This is what we're looking like. Not bad at all. Just looks like, you know, hair that needs to be washed. I'm going to get my... <laughs> Y'all know these drawers be just making me so happy. My flat brush. Brush it out. Brush through it. Y'all can see. I mean, it's still like straight technically, so... Time to get in the shower, get this hair wet for the first time. Oh my gosh, we're going to see what our curls do and don't look like. I am excited, I am scared. I know eventually it's gonna wear off, but still anxious about it. So let me take this shampoo. <laughs> I'd rather the right bottle, A, and get up in the shower so we can get on with it. Cause I do wanna be in bed by midnight. And I I tell you I'm about to take a bath in, in the mean and in between okay while my hair is conditioning oh I forgot to say I was going to decondition my hair with this today in the bathtub yay so or while I soak in the tub this will be in my hair um yeah let's get to it Whew, okay time for the reveal yes in the shower I could feel it I, I can feel what it has done compared to what it would do when, you know, I'm fully natural. So let's get into that before we even take a look. So, and, you know, compared to relaxed hair. So, <laughs> when my hair was, you know, fully natural, no nothing in it, no chemicals, um, it would, you know, like in, expand back to the natural curls, the body, the volume would all come back. In this instance, I was feeling those same waves that I usually feel when I'm um, washing my hair and going from straight to back to curly, but the body hasn't come back and that's what I didn't feel. And um, similarly to when my hair was relaxed, um, in high school and throughout college, what is this right here? Something is, there we go. That was standing up and bothering me. Um, like I was saying, compared to, there that goes, um, and the relaxed stage, kind of the same thing from with the, um, what do I have? A Brazilian treatment and the um, relaxed treatment. It doesn't get the body back. Um, I'm feeling the waves, but not the body. Um, you know, even when your hair's relaxed, you still got some waves. I will insert a picture from high school um, over here. I'll have to go digging for that. Um, this is when I first started to feel some type of curls and was learning that you can put conditioner in here and dry your hair and it stays the way that you want it to look. This is back before the big natural hair movement push. This is in 2011. So that's what my hair was looking like. <laughs> Straight bang, wavies in the back. Okay, that was relaxed hair. Whew, I haven't I done this? I'm gonna look this way in the mirror so I can see myself. Mm, okay. Ah! Okay, okay. So, what are we looking like? What is this? This is, this is similar to relaxed. It's so similar. Oh my goodness. It's like a little less body you can just see some parts have a little more frizz to them or a little more like they try to get the body back so it looks like oh my goodness it's so flat it's so crazy 
No. Oh, some back here. This one back here. The curl's still clump. Curl's still clumping. A little bit of wave, but it's... It's not that bad. It's, uh, when I wear it like this, no, it looks like... It looks like so you try to cramp or something, and I don't know. I can't describe it. It looks different on the top than on the bottom. So if we move this out the way... Which, I mean, I'm not surprised because my hair has different curl patterns all around. So, and it clumps differently, forms differently. So this hair up here doesn't really like, especially this side, it doesn't like to come together and clump. And it's very frizzy, whereas this side clumps a little bit better. It's, it's all kind of kind doing its own thing. All right, so let's get our conditioner in. I need some scissors. Get the scissors. Get the... Some type of wide tooth comb. Um, I could use that. All right, this is scissors, wide tooth comb. I'm gonna need to clip. Of course, the comb fell. The comb fell, y'all. The comb is always falling on. Okay, what am I looking for? Besides picking this up, I need clips. Glory is clips. My clips are all over the place. I really only need three. Let's see what detangling this stuff is like, shall we? Very smooth, very smooth. And my hair is trained really well to go into these four quadrants, so... Yeah, yeah. It's definitely feeling like it needs some moisture. It, the, the texture feels so weird. It feels so different. Not anything that I'm used to. And yes, I'm getting in the bathtub after this and soaking. My bathtub is not full yet. I thought about, you know, filling the tub while I did this. However, I didn't want that, that noise on the mic or in the background. All right, all right, let's get into it, yeah? Separate that into two. So I'm gonna have this conditioner on my head for a good 20, 30 minutes, or as long as it takes for the tub to fill. And then I'm going to rinse it out. I'll rinse it out in the kitchen sink. And then um, put in my, my uh, other conditioner. So this is a deep conditioner. Still training it like it's natural and doing a deep condition on it. That was the easiest detangle I've ever. But it just I pulled out the wrong hair, my lord. The wrong section. The easiest detangle I've ever done in my life. Uh, I don't remember detangling my hair when it was relaxed, so I can't really compare that. Remember, it's been a very, very long time. Look at these ends. You can tell these ends are just damaged. They're, they're over it. It's fine. They'll be cut off one day. <laughs> the brown. When I tell y'all, once my hair is where I want it to be, I don't think I'm going to go all brown. I think I'm just going to do highlights. Okay, well, there was that. God, this is so easy. Except for when I get stuck in the clip. And I don't feel like I need to use so much conditioner. It still feels like, I guess, silky, you would say. Mm -hmm. But that's half of my hair fitting in one small clip. That's wild. Yeah, this is definitely definitely getting dry fast, which my natural hair does too. But I just feel like this is faster than usual. Ooh. 
and this is not the usual conditioner I would use when I straighten my hair. I couldn't find the pack for that. And I just didn't want to spend $20 on the whole thing. And I've been avoiding buying the whole thing in that conditioner, the TGIN Honey Miracle stuff. I've been avoiding buying that whole thing for like ever now. I should really just buckle down and get it. But I'm not even going to use this whole thing, which is not normal. Normally I use the whole thing and I'm trying to use a little bit less since it doesn't, my, my hair is just not as thick. I guess when my hair is thicker feeling, I feel like I need to, or thicker looking, more body. When it's fully natural, I feel like I need to do that. But hey, I might not even need to be doing all this with my hair like this. I don't know. I'm just doing my normal thing. So my hair generally, if I comb through it before I wash it and I don't like do a whole bunch of this and I run through my, cause that's how I usually wash it, I run through it with my fingers to like help it not get super tangled. My detangle process usually is not, not very difficult and this has not been this is even easier, so that's a plus. I'm gonna throw some more conditioner up here. Some more on our very straight end. The ends literally get hit with the heat the most, so. With that, now I'm just gonna wrap, not even wrap, just, I don't know why I said wrap. Wrong descriptor, descriptors. Just gonna put this back like so like that and let this sit for as long as it takes for my tub to fill up with water i'm also gonna put i can't find it quickly enough but i'm gonna put my solar cap on conditioning caps so and we'll be back once this is rinsed out okay so the tub is full that took about 15 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes or so not maybe not I definitely did take the dogs downstairs to let them out to use the bathroom while the tub filled up and when I got back it was all good to go. So I'd say about five, ten minutes. So now I'm going to rinse this out and then we'll be putting in our conditioner. So this is the anti-frizz conditioner. This is going to lock in that frizz protection for us or one of the forms that we're going to use to lock that in. I'm going to rinse this out in my bathroom sink because I don't feel like going to the kitchen right now. So, all right, so I have that all rinsed out. Back to, that definitely helped. Oh my God, it looks so much better than it did from just the shampoo. You can still see, I mean, it, it looks like relaxed hair, but with a little bit more body to it. So I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. Would I rock this curly? I don't know. We would have to see. We definitely have to see. But I'm not doing anything, ooh, anything super extensive with uh, Jesus. I forgot how like not thick this conditioner is. It's dropping all over. I've lost my train of thought. But uh, we're just gonna finger comb this through since we already detangled our hair. Put some. Oh, whoop put some in our hand, rub it around so we can spread this as evenly as possible, finger comb it through. Oh, this is going to come out so cute. I feel like <laughs> this looks like, like my hair was blonde, it would definitely be giving Justin Timberlake Robin, not Robin, but ramen noodles. Okay, get in there, get those finger combed. Oh, I love the way this is making it look, it's giving it so much shine, like comparatively. No 
product, product, the shine it has on it is so pretty. It's just looking better with each, each thing. So the shampoo definitely look like it needed some milk, some moisture after the shampoo. That first condition, that deep conditioner definitely helped. Now this is definitely going to be in my hair for a good 20 minutes because I will be soaking in the tub and I'm about to do some face masks so yeah what time is it it's now 8 42 so yeah we'll be done with this definitely by 11 super quick the blow dry shouldn't take too long blow dry should probably take like 20 30 minutes max and then the straightening process oh baby one maybe two passes put a little bump on the end so I can wrap it and part of me is literally like, oh my god, I'm going to sweat it out tomorrow at the gym. But at, again, at the same time, I'm not. And I'm also going to put it in like a clip. The, uh, one of these, but a bigger one, the butterfly clip. So that the ends aren't touching my back so that those don't uh, get wet or whatever. But other than that, <laughs> we're about to soak in the tub real quick and... Make it do what it do, baby. So I will see y'all after I rinse this out. Alrighty, so I'm back from my bath. Yes, my face is shiny. I have a face mask on. This is my hair. I have not rinsed out the um, anti-frizz conditioner yet, but it looks so good. Like I can really tell my hair took in the conditioner. So now I'm going to rinse it out. And I had this conditioner for about 20, no, actually it's way more than 20, like 35 to 40 minutes um, just with getting the tub together and I had to wait for my washer to finish so that y'all weren't hearing a whole bunch of hullabaloo in the background also I'm watching football so it was just a fight <laughs> the voice was rumbling already so I just wanted to show y'all this before I rinse it out real quick about to rinse it out come back the face is still gonna be shiny by the way and we're going to start to layer in for our uh, blow dry all right, so here's how we're looking with the hair rinsed out. I think it looks really good. Um, of course, you can tell the ends are way straighter than you know what they usually would be. I already had some damage on my ends anyway, so I'm not, mm, is what it is. Um, I have decided on how I'm going to layer in my products. I'm going to start with the leave-in conditioner, then I'm going to go in with the Mazzani, and then we're gonna finish off with the color of wow um yeah color of wow that's what it's called <laughs> and I have my brush here and I have my whatever this is <laughs> blow dryer and if you wonder what face mask I have on right now it's this one it's the Freeman Indian turmeric gel cream mask for hydration and brightening and I use that after a slew of other things I can do it. that's a whole nother video so let's get right into this I blow dry so we're gonna separate our sections oh wait that's just not even how that goes there we go how we usually separate them out I'm actually interested to see, to see how long this is going to take me to blow dry it should not take very long at all this has really just cut down the process of doing my hair like if I wasn't filming this would probably only take me Maybe like, not even two hours, bro. Okay, I don't see the other one. Oh, it's on the floor. Maybe not even two hours. Which is amazing. I don't know why Buffalo ain't throw this ball, though. That's all I'm saying. They tried to run it in twice. And they were like half a yard out and then didn't throw the ball in. Freaking weirdos. All right. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the two sections like I usually do. This is a spray, so we'll see how. I don't like how it sprays out, though. So I'm going to spray it on my hand. And not be overzealous with the product. Because I don't want to weigh my hair down. Because my hair is very easily weighed down. Run into the end zone. Thank you. Finally, Buffalo. Okay. 
drop them. When I tell you I'm so clumsy, everything is always falling. Generous amount of the color of well. Brush it through. That really took no time. Like, what? No time. Wow, this is the only section I didn't use oil. We're, we're not gonna do oil until right before we straighten, so. Whew. Let's just get done with the rest of this head. That was very, that was so fast, oh my gosh. All right, back center. We are all done with the blow dry, and oh my god, that really didn't take long. One thing about me is I don't like to blow dry because it takes forever. I am so hot. Oops. Crack the door. It's not gonna stay open though, because that door never stays open. Anyways, hoo, 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 baby, it looks so good. It looks so good. Like I could literally wear my hair out like this. No problem, but we are going to straighten it. So I am going to rinse my face off, actually, and like wash my face, get that together. So take a slight break from my hair, step out this room, let it cool down a little bit because I don't need to break a sweat. I just got the shower and the tub. We don't need that. Um, but yeah, so far, so far, so good. If you are thinking about getting a relaxer, mm, Steer clear of the creamy crack. Okay, come, get you one of these. 
Come get you one of these. Right now, that is our findings. Get you a resilient blowout treatment. One of these. Because the curls are going to come back. And you saw that my curls weren't, like, super bad. Like, <laughs> those were pretty good to have a treatment. But I'm already multitasking. I'm ready to grab this washcloth, face cloth, and get this off my face real quick. Um, but, yeah, that took, like, 15 minutes to blow dry all of this. Like, yes, my hair is not as thick, it's just long, but I know you see it, baby, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm about to do what I said I was going to do, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Face is fully rinsed, washed, moisturized. So, yes, I am shiny because nighttime skincare after post-mask had to be done. So, we look good. All right, I need to actually bring my thigh closer and clumsy. Oh, it's not even me. It's not even me, bro. I swear to God, but it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> Everything just fell. Okay, so I have my duck clips, rat tail comb. Then we're gonna do the brush method or we're gonna do with the comb. Oh, my brush. The brush is actually not bad. <laughs> Uh, we'll probably, we'll do the comb. That's the brush, we'll do the comb. Alrighty, so like I said earlier, I'm gonna use a small, small amount of oil. This really isn't gonna take long at all. Like, look how straight this already is. And I'm honestly probably only going to do like two passes. Let's get our four quadrants going. This time it's gonna, just going to be a little, a little bit more organized with actual parts. Seamless parting with the rat tail, baby. Not even the tail end of the comb. And I just loose these high this up because I, I don't have the patience. <laughs> All right. That's good. And then I found some hair grease that I made. I don't oil my scalp and my hair straight because my hair is just not thick and oil will run all the way down into the hair and I'm already putting oil on my hair so it doesn't make sense. So we have an infused an oil infused, uh, what is this? Where, are the, where is the part? <laughs> Hair grease that I made a while ago. There's not a lot left, but baby, it is just enough. We don't need a lot, we need just enough. There it is. As you can see, I'm starting on this lower left hand section. That's what I always do. You don't need a lot on the scalp either. And why do I use hair grease if you ask? For those that are asking, those that are new here, this is what I did when I had a relaxer and it really helped my hair grow. So, on the oil tip, we have two, three dots, little dot, dot drops of our silk press oil. And then just one, two, three drops of the Jehovah oil because my hair is not thick and we just don't want a whole lot of oil in it. Just enough. So this should should be just enough. I don't know, we're guessing over here. Flat brush to brush everything through. I feel like I need more oil. I'll add some more. I feel like this should be good. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. Two drops. Two drops. Just to get it up in there. Whew! Alrighty. And I don't have to do super duper thin sections either. Where's the cold?
One pass. One pass on the ass. Look at that. Two pass. That's it. Two passes. We are at 400 degrees on a flat iron. Minimal amount of oil. Like that was like the perfect amount of oil. Maybe a little too much, but that's okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> look, at, look, at, look, at, look at this. Look at your girl. Silk press. Yes. I'm also not going to do the whole wrap, wrap my hair, then wrap it in saran wrap and sit under the dryer. Cause that really doesn't do anything for me, in my opinion. It don't really help much. I'm gonna use a little less oil on this side two because one, two. We don't need a lot. Some might argue we don't need any. Ooh, all right. I'm about to do the rest of my head and then when we're done I'm gonna bump the ends just so that it wraps really nicely and I'm gonna speed everything up from here on out so we aren't like sitting here so here we go Alright, so my camera overheated and I had to stop recording. I just kept going. So we are on our last, last pieces. About to get these straightened. <laughs> and then I'm going to bump my ends. And, oh, it's a little hot up there. We will be done. Look at that one pass shoddy, honey. That's less heat on your hair. That is just, oh my goodness. Blessings on blessings on blessings. That's what that feels like, okay? One pass, ooh. Shot is looking spectacular. Let me just make sure these edges are good. Get this little widow's peak. Ooh. Ooh. And here is our finished product. I don't know if next time if I'll use oil on my hair, but I don't know. I like the way oil kind of looks. It just doesn't, it just weighs my hair down a bit. It doesn't give it that fluffy look, but also at the same time, I kind of like it. It makes it like stay put, cause 
baby. Fresh, clean hair looks so good. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so quick little bump of the ends. We're gonna get this wrapped up. However, before then, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm like ready to clean up and sit down. But um, like I said earlier, I would recommend this to anyone who's thinking about going back to the creamy crack, okay? So far, 10 out of 10. Like my hair hasn't sweat out for any workouts. It acts like a relaxed, a relaxer does, honestly. Um, but I have more body. And when I did relax my hair, I don't think I used oil when I straightened. Yes, I did. I did use oil when I straightened my hair. Oh, um, I remember when I used to use hair grease on all of it. Like, but it was bad. I didn't know what I was doing. And then some group, my dance team girls put me on to this oil, and I've just been doing different, experimenting with different oils. But it's always like, how much do I use and how much do I need so my hair is straightened but also not weighed down. So that's what we're working on here. I use way less oil than what I usually would use and uh, still looks good, a little weighed down, but I digress. It'll it'll absorb in and dry out as time goes by. Um, but right now it's super moisturized. It's super straight. It looks good straight. And I'm, but like I said, I'm gonna bump the ends so I can wrap it. Um, this was so fast. Like if I was not filming, this whole process would probably take an hour and a half good to go okay and by like actually put some curls in my hair two hours tops maybe 215 time saver this is not I gotta wash I got deep condition and sit under the hair dry I you ain't gotta do all that unless you want to and I don't want to so I'm very happy about that but um I'm I'm gonna bump it and wrap it on camera so y'all can see what I do Where's my big blue scarf? And then we will we'll get everything wrapped up. What, what else do I need? Got my brush, my scarf. All right, I got everything I need to bump and wrap this. So quick bump. Back to our four quadrants. I just need it to have a little little something on the ends when I take it out tomorrow it's not like wild straight mad straight see I just tuck oh him with a little little curl curl and I'm not individually bumping every piece that's how I how I used to do it when I used to straighten my hair I would straighten it and curl it at the same time like I do the straight and then I go over right with the curling iron right after. Back when my hair was relaxed, those high school days, I mean, and college, but the high school memories are a little bit more vivid. Just in my room, doing my edge. Now this looks crazy, I know. Turn that off. And now I just wrap it around my head and I use my brushes. Achieved. Ooh, and I take such solace in knowing that in the morning when I go to the gym, my hair's not gonna sweat out. Cause usually I like to do my hair on Saturday so I can at least enjoy it on Sunday. <laughs> but it's not gonna sweat out. Ooh. Ooh, kill them. Ooh, and look at that. I don't even have to use any clips or anything. Now I'm gonna take my scarf. This is my smaller scarf that I love to use. I have like three of these. Get the edges and this just helps lock everything in and keep it neat and now 
I need a big boy. Our big boy scarf. Cause we will be going to bed at like, what time is it now? It's 1031, it's not even 11 y'all. And I started this around eight, but also I took a bath, did face masks. I did stuff in between, in the mean and in between, okay? And that's the only reason why this like was prolonged. That's the only reason why it took so long. Wow, wow, all right. And this is how my hair is wrapped, and this is how we will go to bed. This is what we look like at night. Alrighty. So, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see um, another video like this or just another. Because I do, I also do want to try starting it without the oil next time. And also, if you just want another update. Actually, I will do another update upon my next wash because... We're gonna see how this goes, how my curls change with every wash and how the product gets pretty much washed out every time. Okay, sorry about that. My camera's not letting me be great. It overheated again, so I'm trying to get this out. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Like I said, I will be doing another video of this so we can see how my curls transform. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you know each and every time that I post so you can, you know, keep up and decide for yourself if this is something that you will want to do in the future. So until next time, y'all, it's your girl, Shelly Mike.